Yeah, so I gave a I gave a TEDx talk um, yesterday, and uh, it was really fun. And I was talking about uh, how we can how we can better empathize with people internally, and how we can actually how we should be building products. Because one of the things that we a lot of times we forget is we we talk about digital first and and, and content first and 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 you know mobile first and VR first and Google Glass first and there's this world of first. And really, for me, I believe that people. Are the only thing that's that stays the same. Content evolves, platforms evolve, people stay the same, and I really think that the organizations that create that create a people-first environment are going to be the organizations that succeed, are going to be the organizations that we want to go work for. So I was talking about how at, at how at Vox we're a people-first organization and how that makes a difference in in what we do and the products that we build. computer science was like I don't want to be a programmer I hate programming because it was it was this really complicated programming it wasn't actually programming that I thought helped people and I didn't feel like I was making a difference in my classes and so I looked at the subject that I knew the least about and I was like I know nothing about money um, I know nothing about like politics so I'm gonna go into econ <laughs> I don't know why and uh, so I, I, made, I started majoring in econ and um, was like I do not like this and I do not want this to be my job because I also don't feel like I'm making a difference and then I got drunk and became a journalist <laughs> First article I ever wrote about was uh, a dance club had won like some award at Purdue, and um, I had to cover that. And I was like, "This is the worst thing. I do not want to be a writer now. I don't care about dance at all." And then I started talking to these people, and they had all of this passion for what they did. And I, I realized that we all have these really great different stories and all these really great passions that are individual to us. And as a journalist, I get to tell those stories to the world. And that was really, really powerful for me. And then I, you know, once you're in a newsroom, it's addictive. You, there's like, you know, the, 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 the radio, you know, the cop radio's on, you have like three of those and the firefighter and you have all this noise constantly. It's like the chaos attracted me. And I really, really fell in love of being in a newsroom, telling these really great stories. I'm in journalism because I like to tell people stories. I like to show people, you know, all of our humanity. And I love, I think that everybody has really great stories and I love to listen to stories and I love to tell them to the world. And that's why I stay in journalism. And that's why, you know, like my first job was in a part of, of Indiana that's really, really corrupt and high crime. And we actually got to, to, to create solutions and do these really great investigations. Piece, investigative pieces that made a difference in people's lives and telling stories and and helping you know change the community is a big part of what we do it's like it's a lot of times why we got into journalism and you know there was the you know in the you know the, the 70s and the 80s and there was everybody wanted to be Woodward and Bernstein and and now it's like we don't have a lot of those same idols but the things that we do matter and journalism to me is something that we do that matters. And it's a way to make a difference in the world, whether it's just a small community or whether it's a whole state or whether it's everywhere else. And so, you know, if we look at what's happening in, in, in all these different communities all around the world, there are problems. And journalists are part of the solution. And I want to be part of that solution. And to me, doing something that matters is way more important. It's like you cannot give enough money to me to fill my soul. And journalism fills my soul. <laughs>